Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. It has been our tradition. I am not going to divert from it. To avoid the wrath of the gods. <laughs> I'm not here to be lectured about cultural tradition, Papa. No, I'm not. But I've come here to tell you that whether you like it or not, no matter what it will take, I will be king. I will sit down here. And I have one stupid... Cultural tradition. I'm going to sit down here. Mama, I don't want to go. Why? My f my father is going to be very mad at us. Obina, listen to me. Your father is nothing compared to our reason for living here. Okay? We are rich now. I have four million naira to take care of us. Four million naira? That's a lot of money. Where, where do you get that kind of money from? Got the money from the man who knows how to take care of a woman better than your father. He sent your stepsister outside the country to study, forgetting that you are his son. But I don't have the money now, okay? And I want to treat you alike. Oh, wouldn't you want to study abroad? I would like to, Mama. Then that's my son. Now hurry up, hurry up, carry your bag. Let's go. I hope you put my inhaler in my bag. Where is my personal driver or royal car? Sorry, I don't understand my princess. Oh. Are you always this dumb? Why is your IQ so low for heaven's sake? Do you have a problem with grammar? No, my princess. 
My princess, the thing is that the princess personal driver dropped us and left. Oh, well, let me explain some. Huh. I'll explain from here. Let me explain something to you because I'm sure you're from some poor and dirty neighboring village. When a princess wakes up in the morning and she sees her two supposed maidens, she's expected to have her royal car, a personal driver, bodyguards, if possible a convoy. And if she doesn't see any of this, she goes back to bed. And hopefully when she wakes up, everything will be fine. My princess, will you get your smelling stuff out of my house? Come back here. When you get to the palace, brush your mouth. And take a shower because you stench. It's all about the fabric in this house. Hmm? Get out. Come, come, come back here. And what is the magic word? Thank, Thank you, my princess. Get out. Seriously, what am I doing? I mean, look at the two of them. You know, I can imagine these two <laughs> kissing <laughs> at 90. Nah, I don't want to sit. I don't want to sit. <laughs> Come in. <sighs> Agua, greetings. What is the problem? Something out of the ordinary. Did somebody die? Not yet. Okay, so what's the problem? The maidens are back. They said the princess to be a request that she must come to this palace with a royal guard, palace car with a palace official plate number. What? That's okay. It's all right. Okay, Akuba, arrange your car, okay? Three maidens, and uh, you can go, go with them as well, okay? It's okay. You can, you can be with her. I wouldn't be needing you as often as I would, okay? So um, I expect that you be there for her when she needs you. All right? Dad! How could you possibly be in support of this? So that, that's your brother's fiance we're talking about here. I'll do anything for her as if he weren't here. Uh, or tell me, do you also need a driver and uh, a guard? I'm good. I've enjoyed enough kind gesture ever since I was born. So. Uh, okay. uh, so, mm -hmm. shall, shall we? Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Father, please. All right. <laughs> Have a lovely thing like that. Eh? Give me a seat, please. 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 Give me a Oh, Vino. So, look what you think. 
So you two don't join the club where they come here, come shank my mama. No be what you think. Come here, come clean, come go for where they sleep. Tell them, nah, I shank your Congo. You know share a Congo? I know share a Congo. Hmm. All this Congo you guys are sharing in my room. I know share a Congo. I know share. Tell them, nah, why you won't make it with me? Mama, what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? You take grace. Eh? What did they worry for your head? Eh? Why will you just walk in and chase my customer away without him paying me my money? Obviously. I know your operation last night was successful. Where is the 20,000 naira owing me? I need my money. I am not in the best frame of mind. And don't allow me to unleash my anger on you. Look at this shameless son of a useless father. Instead of you to be grateful to me that I was taking care of you since you were born, you are here talking nonsense. Eh? Take care. Eh? Mama, see, let me tell you. Mama, is it trying to sell me your only son for crack? Is it how to take care of a son? Eh, Mama, the four million naira that you were giving to use in taking care of me. Now I don't turn audio, the ringtone. I am not even hearing about it again. Mama, see, I have been hearing about that money, but I have not gotten a couple. No benefit. From that four million naira. <coughs> Useless woman. The sunshine that brightens life. Ingenitus Zaramando. <laughs> the most beautiful queen in this kingdom. That's what you will become, my daughter. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, my <laughs> dear. <sighs> so finally you came with my request? Yes, my princess. This is Aguba, your personal garden driver. Good morning, my princess to be. What was that? Are you dumb? Correct yourself, young man. Sorry, my princess. Good. Much better. Good. And I hope you don't expect me to walk on this bare floor. Do I bend so you ride on my back? That's not what I mean, you moron. Where is my royal mat and flowers you're supposed to spread on the floor for me to walk on? Sorry? Flowers? Yes, flowers, dumb. Sorry, my princess, but you never made a request for that. <laughs> well, now you know. When next you come here without my royal mat and flowers, you will not like my actions. Papa. My princess. <laughs> Let me go meet my husband, the prince. Okay, my daughter. Take care, eh? <laughs> yes. Flaunt it because you have it. Thank you. <laughs> it's a little do I need to kickstart your brains? Pick it up. Zaramanto, Zaramanto. 
Flaunt it, my daughter. You have it, Lord. <laughs> yes, that's the mark of a pig. Just two years that you left this village. Just two years. Look at you. You're just looking like someone that went to Bodo Yiba and came back. Looking like a flash Yankee boy. Hey! <laughs> I'm glad that you can see me with your two eyes. I, I am seeing with my two eyes. My eyes are open. I'm looking at you like I'm looking at you. Ah! Oh, baby. Look at you. See, if not for that munch of a mother eh, that I have, see, let me tell you, I would have gone with you to anywhere you're going to. But you see that woman? That woman will not allow anything good to come my way. I'm telling you. And you see this time? You will not leave this village without me. Anywhere you're going to, I will go with you. If she like, let her go and hug transform. It's not my business. Let her hug a big transformer and die. Good. <laughs> now you are sounding like the strong old being I used to know. Eh? Hey, <laughs> Joshua. Joshua, I am not strong. I started doing strong, strong things, stronger things than you used to know me before. Stronger things. Obi. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Nice one, nice one. Nice nice. <laughs> <laughs> this camera said, hey, Josh, you will go with this and I will take it. <laughs> I need to go to club. Hey, yeah. Let's go inside. Let me give you the little thing that I have. Yeah. Any little thing, you don't manage. <laughs> Obi! <laughs> no, Obi, now. You must not step your legs into that kingdom. I am warning you for your own good. No, Mama. You're not warning me for my own good. You are warning me for your own selfish interest. Yes. See, Mama. You were the one that collected four million naira and squandered it. I did not share it with you. Now it's my turn to go and collect my own share of the money. Obina. Do not forget I carried you in my womb for nine months. You will hate yourself if you dare me. Mm. <laughs> watch me. <laughs> watch me. Ma, watch me. Mm -hmm. Nine months. 
Me I've also eaten for nine months. I've also eaten for nine months. I'm very happy. Pardon? Aha, here he goes. <laughs> Elvis, it's so good to have you back. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Mom, how you doing? Hey. That's my wife. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> hmm. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Look at you, baby. As beautiful as always. I know. <laughs> you see, she, she's been in good hands. <laughs> Evidently, guys. Evidently. Welcome back, my love. Thank you, baby. So tell me, how um, has this town been treating you? Uh, not as bad as as much as I've missed you. Really? Tell you what, baby. I've missed you even more. Mm. Mm? Please get a room. I know, Mom. You know what, uh, let's, uh, you know. <laughs> You've been with these people way too long. <laughs> <laughs> Us here. Please. I'm done with her. I'll tell the queen to take me off this one. So as poor as she was before, she could still be wicked enough to flog a blind man with her child. Can you imagine? I've never heard of something as awful as this before. If this girl can be like this in a few days, only God knows what she will become in a month. Oh. You know what? I pity the both of you. Pity yourself first because you're permanently in this situation. What situation? I'm sorry, my princess. Um, we were just discussing about the Nigerian government. 
So Zara is now the president of this country. I've heard things relating to her, considering the fact that you girls have been with her all through today. Speak! Uh, actually, my princess... Um, actually, not in my princess. Agnes. I'm sorry, my princess. My princess, you are not just comfortable with the new princess. Princess to be. I'm sorry, my princess. This is the most meaningful statement you've made. I promise you, very soon, that pest will be back where she belongs. Thank, Thank you, my princess. <sighs> Why do you want to make me act like a monster? Ubina, I beg of you. You can go to any other place you want for this, to, in search of the supposed greener pasture. But obviously not in Agaba Kingdom. Mama, I am tired of hearing these strange stories. Those strange stories that comes out of your mouth. I am tired of hearing it. Unlike you, I will go to Agaba Kingdom. I will make the money and I will come back and spend it with you. Hmm? Look at you. <laughs> I've missed you so much. I miss you too. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how long has it been? Huh? Three, four, five years? Actually, four years, two months, one week and two days. Oh no. How romantic. <laughs> you remember, huh? Well, I can only be romantic for my man and that is you. Ah, uh, look at you. Hmm? 
Come here, kiss me. Tell you what, darling. Looking at you right now, I remember vividly how you and I got engaged. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm also looking at that finger and I can't find my ring on it. Uh, four years. Four years it calls so many calories, but that ring doesn't fit my finger anymore. Well, I'm looking at you right now, it doesn't seem to me like you put on weight. Well, where's my ring? What can I say? Honey, you've been abroad for so long. You're used to all those skinny girls. <laughs> You're just talking from your own perspective. Bitch, I'm so sorry, please. You can't see through her, can you? But ever since you stepped your foot into this compound, I know how selfish, lying, wicked you could be. What nonsense are you talking about? Um, Natasha? Please. Show some respect, all right? That's my wife to be. You have no rights whatsoever to speak to her in that man. Yeah? And she's got the right to whip an old blind woman. Yeah. With their walking stick. Damn. You are heartless. What? Listen carefully, Zara. This royal privilege that is making you all puffy. It's a tradition I grew up with, and no bitch has handled it better than me. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look who is jealous. Zara, please tell me the truth. Did you truly flog a blind old woman? Baby was just a little. How about telling the truth for once in your life? Just a little? Huh? Did you say just a little? How could you? That's weakness. That's outrageous. Why would you do something like that? Don't touch me! What is wrong with you? When I tell you how awful she's been, you use more complicated words. Let alone now, she's been given some royal privileges to boost her stupid ego. I will not stand here and watch the children of one of the most dangerous men I know judge me. Excuse me. Elvis, did you hear her? Listen, I know you're just a surgeon, not a psychiatrist, but isn't that little voice in your head telling you that this girl is a total mess? Yeah, well, yeah, she's a mess, right? But she's a beautiful mess, look at her. You know what? Call me when you're back to your senses, because I can tell you're not. Okaramo, what do I owe this visit? Very surprised visit. What do I owe you to? Iwezugo. May you live long. There was a time you worshipped me like one of the gods. You celebrated my arrival. I celebrate you today. You visited my shrine on a daily basis. But today, I visit you. No more respect. Oh. Oh, Karamo, it's just as simple as ABC. No matter what, the deviant must not lose that which makes him a deviant. No! As you go, no. I have not lost that which may be the greatest debate of our time. But whatever happened was your fault. I have not said you have lost that which makes you a Dibia. Rather, I'm simply emphasizing on respect. Respect as one. Ezugo, 
You should know that one of the reasons why the people respect me so much as one of the greatest debate of our time is because of my ability to see the present and the future. For now, your son is back and these are counting. Or do I say, oh no, Wagazi is counting? Oh, Karamo, I do not understand. If you've come to my palace to gloat or to deliver a message, <laughs> call it whatever you like, but he is counting. Wagazi is counting. Oh, now? What does Okaramo want from me? Is it that he wants me to prostrate before him? Or has he just forgotten that I am king? Oh no. That was so beautiful, my god. Just mm. you look as stunning as all. <laughs> I know, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Flowers I requested for Zara, baby, and they're still standing. Did you just slap my maidens right in front of me? Well, if there's no one sane enough in the palace to teach this, this thing's manners, I would gladly do it. Manners. Manners on how to roll out a carpet and then spray flowers on it so that you can walk on it. Now why don't you go ahead and request that someone chews and swallows your food when you get hungry or better still, get Agoba here to borrow you his nose when you need to breathe. Will that be manners for you? Thank you, my prince. You're very stupid. Elvis, where do you get this kind of people from? And, and don't blame me if your mother is not cautious enough to teach this things how to treat a queen. I am not that lousy too. Did you just insinuate? My mother. The queen of Agaba Kingdom is a lousy woman. Well, can someone agree with me on that? All right, everyone, that's the height of it. This date is officially cancelled. I got up. Get out of this place. Get up! <laughs> Move!
What? Guy, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I had to kill her. I had to waste that old woman. Can you imagine? She was practically telling someone to do away with me. Guy, I had it. I had to come back and no waste time. Knock her straight. And knock her, no waste any time. I'm telling you. Wow. You know, as evil and creepy as this sounds, Don Gordon is going to like you. <laughs> yeah. You know, your type is so good for this business. <laughs> so, uh, who are we wasting time? <laughs> you know, I, I need to make one or two calls. Uh, meanwhile, I have a date with a very beautiful woman. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I will drop you there and come back for you later. Joshua, sure. no shaking. Yeah. Just give me Josh. Josh. Oh, my God. Thank you very much. Oh, no, 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 no. I should be the one thanking you. I had lots of fun. And to top it up, you brought me into a palace. Pleasure is all mine. Oh, here. You carelessly forgot it at the hotel. Oh, my God. I didn't even notice. You know, it's quite expensive. I know how much it's worth. You know, so many girls will have sold this wristwatch. You have a kind heart. Can we do this again? Maybe. Maybe? Let's leave things the way they are. I had a nice time. Alright, see you soon, beautiful. Bye. Bye. What is the street number? And how much do you think we can get from them tonight? Yes, I have enough bullets. No, no, that is totally unacceptable, alright? No! You're sorry? I, I'm apologizing, I'm sorry! You're sorry? I'm sorry I came out wrong. You know I have a thing with oh, temper. Please just stop it. Right? That's not an excuse. You're a grown woman. Put it in check. You don't come out looking all beautiful and nice and then at the slightest opportunity you 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 you, you become mean to people. But what Shut I... up, I'm talking. Alright? A permanent bad impression is rather a very good one that suddenly fades away at the slightest opportunity. 
So am I going to apologize and argue the whole day before you forgive, forgive me and accept my apologies? How typical of you. Tell me, Zara, when would you ever take full responsibility for your actions without having to turn the table around? When? Okay. I am sorry, Prince Elvis Ezugo, for insinuating your mother is less it cautious. It doesn't end there. You'd have to promise me that you'd begin to treat those maidens like human beings. All right? I promise I'll try not to. Is that okay? Um, we'll see, right? Can, can, can you just... Can you, can you stop? Honey, I've been apologizing since now. You know I love you. Zara, can you stop? We're in the bedroom. <laughs> So what are you going to do with yours? <laughs> Josh, you can't ask me to do. <laughs> Josh, you see that your car? That's your exact car. I'm going to buy it. I'll buy that exact car, the same color, everything. Even the inside, everything will be the same. The other money, eh? I'll go to the boutique. I'll change my wardrobe. Buy new clothes, buy jackets, dress like you. <laughs> so the girls will be dripping. So I can't. <laughs> the girls will be dripping. And you, what would you do with your mom? Because you're not lacking anything. You have everything. Everything you need, you have it. Well, I'm just going to spoil the princess a little. You mean the princess of this land? Of course. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, my father used to be friends with the Igwe. And that was why they were able to send my stepsister abroad. That means your father must be a very prominent man in this society. Who is your father? What is his name? I might know him. I know Wagazi. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I mean, everyone in this society knows that. Ono Wagazi has only one daughter. And that's what I think. But the truth is this. My father met my mother in a brutal where she was doing her prostitution. Ashe. Ashawo. My mother. Ashawo. Uh, but he came back for us, so came back for us, but he refused to introduce us to people. I guess he was ashamed of us. And that was why my mother collected the money she collected from whomsoever she collected the money from for us to leave the land. Listen, Obinna, if this story you have just told me is true, that means you are the right heir to the truth. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> uh, Josh, I don't think you heard me right. I said I am the son of Ono, not the son of the Igwe. <laughs> Listen to me, Obina. By the time I have told you what I want to tell you, you will know who you truly are and figure out who paid your money. 
Kara. I regret letting him sit on that throne. Agaze, you did not lose totally. At least your daughter is still involved. How long is it going to take before her wedding? I beseech you, look into the seed of time and tell me what you see in the future about my daughter and the prince. Oh no, Agaze. Too many questions for the Osa confuses it. You know, cheating and failure to adhere to the dictates of the gods has caused a lot of harm for me. But I promise you one thing, nothing is going to happen unexpectedly or not destined by the gods. Only pray, pray. Pray that the gods will favor you and your household this time. Don't tell me you're still mad. Never said so. Tasha, I know you. you know. My kid sister. I've lived with you all my life. Don't be like this. All right, I've lived with a few things I need to explain to you, especially when it concerns my relationship with Zara and the issues surrounding her. You know me. You and I grew up together. You know, it's not my decision to be locked down on this. But I've been made to understand that tradition supersedes everything in this kingdom. You know me, Tasha. I don't give a damn about kingship or father doors. All right? He is so attached to it. What would you have me do? I, as the crown prince, would have to play by the rules. That's all I'm doing. You know, it's funny how one throne could control so many people's lives and happiness. Ah. My sentiments exactly, I tell you. Because I've been wondering too, you know. <laughs> Look around. See what we're dealing with. The people in this kingdom, they believe that um, the kingship is a privilege. And I'm thinking that you and I, Tasha, should be kind enough to be appreciative. Yes, I'm, all I'm saying is, can you please be patient with this woman. Be patient with Sarah. She will learn. She will come around. I promise you. Yeah? She just pulled another stunt today in the city. Everybody's talking about how she got embarrassed by some governor's son over a dinner-related issue. Oh, no, that's, that's not possible. That's, that's not Sarah you're talking about. Her pride will not allow her to pull such a stunt, I tell you. Really? Why don't you call your personal guard to find out how big her ego really is. You saw you were ready. I should be the one asking you that. I love your guts. Good day, my lovely father. Sit down, sit down. 
What is this news in town about you and a certain man? You should have known better than washing your dirty linen in the public. Papa, they're just rumors. When I hear the truth about my daughter, I know it. Do you know how many prominent men in town that have heard this news? Or do you want to put me to shame? It was just a harmless introduction that caused all this talk in town. Oh, so you introduced yourself to a young man and he started insulting you. You want me to believe you, Zara? No. I asked Agoba to get his number for me. Oh my God! Agoba the palace guard. An enemy. Are you stupid? Oh, you should have known that before you send anybody on such an errand, you buy the person off. I'm making you a confidant. Hey. Obviously, the, the, the king must have heard this. Oh, please, Papa. The king is the least of my problems. Wow. Why do you always say that? Because. If anything happens and we run out of luck, I will make sure that our lineage feels royalty through me. That is why. Oh, that's my daughter talking. It's a dollar. <laughs> but you have to be very careful. I will. Yes. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Do you think Elvis has heard about it? Dad, aside from losing the throne, is there any other reason you want me to marry this girl? Son, if we lose this throne, it is going to be the biggest embarrassment of the sanctuary. And no destruction will surpass that. And I don't want that to happen. Father, Father please. Father, please. That this is the 21st century. Kingship is allowed on pass. I do not see people in this time and age wanting to kill themselves over it. At the same time, no matter how far an African man might claim or will claim to have traveled, he can never be more exposed than the white man. No, certainly not. Son, you have to marry that girl and keep shame away from the family. Father, that's an odious task, I must tell you. That girl does not trigger any kind of positivity in me. What she's done since I, I got home is making me scared of what I'm getting myself into. Now tell me, Father, is that the kind of wife you want for your son? Elvis, I am not going to teach you how to deal with your woman, am I? Information. I have less than one year to hand down this crown to you. So I want you to begin to get used to that time frame. By the way, is this what you came to discuss with me? For now, Father. Yes. I hope I've made it clear. You can go now. Welcome, my son. Welcome, the 
right heir to the throne of Agaba. Your Majesty, you are welcome to your kingdom. Welcome. Karakara! I thank you. Dobo kutukutu, Jalo. Rupoto poto, Jalo. All the gods of Agaba Lord. I thank you for making me see this day. Thank you. Jalo. Agaba village is in trouble. What is wrong? You look like you saw a ghost. I saw a feminine creature in the forest that possesses power more than Okara more. Nine. Stop saying this. Do you know we could be banished because of this joke? This is no joke. I shot at a wild dog and she blocked it with her body. Hmm. Nay, I don't understand though. The bullet hit her, but nothing happened. I'm scared. Hmm. Nay, did you visit a Zim's pan wine shop? No, ego. What sort of stupid question is that? Hmm. I don't know. But nobody. Nobody will believe this. I mean, nobody. Yes, this is the place. Uh, what do you think? I like it. It's pretty big. Nice. Yeah, I'll just... Um, I mean, I mean, I, 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 I like the place, especially because of um, the topography of the land. All right. So I'll just tell the contractor to get those guys to um, start clearing all the way from that end. To that point. Yeah, it's nice. Oh. Can you feel it? Feel what? I feel a certain presence. I feel there is someone else here. Yes, there's someone else here. Me. No, that's not what I'm talking Hello? about. I should stop it. <laughs> I might not be able to prove it right now, but I can tell there is someone else. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> Let's go. Right, after you.
you see, I guess eh, congratulations is in order to Onu Wagazi and the king. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, thank you very much, Onu. Uh, no retreat, no surrender. We should be expecting the engagement party soon. Eh? Uh, my king, are we on the same page? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on, come on, please, just shut up. Shut up, please. Just shut up. You know, you just backed into a very important meeting I'm having with my elders. Huh? I mean, listen, Okamo, you're beginning to constitute a nuisance in this palace with this your unsolicited visits. Uh, huh? uh, Okamo, I do not want to believe that you're laughing at me and my elders. Are you? The vulture can never be denied of his feasts. <laughs> What an insolence. What kind of insult is this? Eh? People go to people's houses on invitation. This is a very strange visit. Because we all know that Okedibia has a reason for everything he does. Just shut up your mouth. If you don't know what to say, just keep quiet. Shut up. What stupid reason are you talking about? Why are you standing there looking at me like some stupid idiot? Nothing, my princess. Go start this time, my friend, and I hope you don't hit some hungry woman today. Quick! Hey, handsome. How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay. How's that smell? <laughs> Did you smoke? No, not really. Did you dare lie to me? Did you smoke, Zara? So in addition to all the things that you do, you smoke? What is this? The other day, it was you making a pass at some random man asking him to dinner. And now this? You sit down there and speak to me. Hey, hey, Rose. What's going on here? Huh? Father. She smokes. Yeah, I know. I know she smokes. Big deal. You know? Of course I do. Come on. Elvis, this lady sitting here, schooled in the States. Okay? You've been out there. I'm sure you know what happens out there. You must have met women who do more than tobacco. Marijuana, Indian hemp. Skunk, otherwise one of the SK. So why are you? Listen up, Elvis. If there's something else, 
Your wife does that you do not like. Be a man. Pray some to it. Tell us straight up. Okay? And stop turning my palace into some cinema house. Because I do not like it. I don't like it. I don't like noise. Please. Will you listen to my conversation? No, my sister. No, my sister. When next you hear me having a conversation, you close your ears. In fact, move back. You, you stink. Move. It's open, Tasha. You can you can come in. So Tasha is the only person ah. you expect, huh? Mother. I am really jealous of your relationship with your younger sister. Ah, come on, mom. <laughs> That's not the situation, man. Come you know I love you. <laughs> huh? It's just that Tasha is such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful person. She's She's a sister like no other. She, she, she makes me happy. She, she brings with her a lot of peace. And sometimes, just sometimes, I wish I could. I could say the same about my relationship with Mother, you know who. I have heard everything that's been happening to you. All I can tell you is for you to take things easy. Hmm? Take things easy, okay? And um, I know that with time, you will surely marry whom you love. Thank you, Mother. You always have the right words. Thank you. Thank you for lifting my spirit. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, Mother, I, um, I wanted a land that you do. Remember the one that... Um, Father and I had agreed upon to use as the site for the factory, remember, right? Yeah, I do. Something happened while I was there. I ran into this. All right, should I call her a woman now? Okay, maybe a woman, maybe a girl. I really couldn't make that out in the short space of time, but there was something about her mother. It seemed to me like she had lived in that forest all her life. Why? The way she looked at me before she ran off told me. I'm not really sure she's used to human beings or should I say civilization? But now the question is do we still have people like that in this time and age living in forests in our community? None that I know of. All I know is that a do forest is not a safe place to go wandering around. A few years ago, it used to be a very dangerous place. I mean, you'd have gone there wandering there all alone. Come on, mother, you've started again. You, you worry too much. Okay, there is nothing to fear. Look, I'm just intrigued by this person. Son, keep your spirit of adventure in check. If you're looking for intrigues, go get it somewhere else. <laughs> oh, you're just impossible. All right, all right, I've heard you. Uh, okay. Oh, well, don't be like that, man. Nah. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Baby, I'm sorry. Baby, forgive me. It's just... It's just one of those bad habits I picked up from high school. I promise I'm going to stop. Do you remember the last time we talked about this? You told me you'll try. And now you're telling me you promise? Yeah. Huh? Do I count on it? Yes, I, I cross my heart, honey. You know I love you, I would do anything for you. Oh. Sarah, you've already stood in my father's heart. I don't have much of a choice. Anyway, I guess, guess we'd um, find a way to to work something out. Oh, thank you so much. Do I count on your promise, Sarah? Yes, come here, baby. <laughs> You promise? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, now that you've forgiven me, can I take you out for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Zara. You. Yeah. All right, my beautiful woman. After you. Thank you. You seem to have Elvis under your control. He tends to listen to you at every time. What do you expect from Zara? <laughs> Hello, Alaji. My honorable Alaji. I'm sorry we're running late. I'll make it up for the wasted time. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. Wait, I've been meaning to ask. Is Algoba going to take us to the hotel looking like this? I mean, it's too skimpy. You know, Zara always has a plan. Leave Algoba to me. Let me change into something glamorous. All right, then. Just carry on, because I'm ready. O Karamo, eye of the gods, the dude does not gallivant in the day for nothing. What brings you to my home? And who is the young man beside you? Agazie, the owner of Agaba. This is the eye that brightens your future. The right pair to the throne of Agaba. Agazie, this is Obina, Richmond. Agazie, your son, the right hair to the throne of Agaba. Agaba, come closer. This is for you to keep your mouth shut concerning anything I do in your presence. And that is why I've asked you to come without the maidens. If you're able to shut up, huh? There is more where that came from. I'll always pay you in cash. Or maybe kind. Do we have a deal? It's a deal. With this amount of money you've given me, I owe you my loyalty. In fact, from now onwards, anything I see or hear about you, in fact, I know no evil about you. Good for you. Well, if I hear anything about me outside, that I know only you witnessed. 
I'll pay assassins half of that money, and you will vanish. Go. Chantal. Bobina, my son, I'm glad you are back. So your mother did all that to keep you away from me? Yes, Papa. She really did. Hey! The devil in her could corrupt the saint in any angel. She was a terrible woman. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Well, uh, Papa, uh, everything is still in place. Thank God I'm back. And I'm back to make you proud by ascending the throne. Uh, um, well, that, uh, that would have been nice. But uh, I want you to bear in mind that uh, the Botox is one. But if you carry it on the back, it gives an impression of two. Your sister is very much in the picture, and she has handled it. What do you mean, Papa? Uh, you see, the cats cannot attack the scrotum of a man who is awake. So in your absence, we, we arranged for your sister to get married to Igwe's son so that she could become the queen. Uh, because you were nowhere to be found. No, Papa. All I can say is that another bulk money has exchanged hands to make it possible and to seal the deal. But I want to tell you this. I am back. I am back to take what rightfully belongs to me. So I want you to let your daughter know that and her hopes. You should bring her hopes down. 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 Because the king is back. <sighs> Anybody could be grandmother's concubine, provided my hands are full of bush meat. What do I use?
don't see how you would be attracted to a woman that could do this to you. Tasha, please stop it, all right? I already told you before, this woman is not what you think she is. She probably hasn't seen a lot of humans in her time. I saw her, okay? I saw the look in her face. She probably did this to me out of self-defense. Wait a minute. Are you saying... How did she do this? <laughs> Trust me, you would... <laughs> You'd never believe me if I told you how this happened, so let's not even... Let's, let's. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Because this looks terrible. Honey, I've been looking for you every... Oh. Lord, what happened to you? How did you get that work? Will you mind your business? I will go straight to the point. Why are you here? Well, I just wanted no, to come and... Let's just get up. Why are you here? I just wanted to come and find out why you have been avoiding me lately and you stopped calling me. Oh, well, the reason is very simple, Zara. I want to be happy. I want peace. And that? doesn't come with you. So if you don't mind, can you please use the door? Would you rather I call the guards to show you out of the palace? Good riddance. You two, get out. You vanish! So, what's the meaning of this? Why are you doing this? I came to see your son. Who hasn't called me in days? Only to find out that he could be happy without me. And Zara is not happy about it. You better bring him back to his senses before he will wreck you. Are you done? No. Our son's tuition fee for the year is due. And you know how strict private schools abroad are with timing, considering the fact that your kids attended such. I want the money in three days. Or... Are you threatening me? Are you? Ezugo, I know you know me. Maybe not as much as you should know me. I don't make threats. I make promises that I always love to keep. If you fail me, you regret the day you ever touched this body. Agrippa, you're going to tell me everything that happens in this palace, in and out. As long as it has to do with the king and the prince, you bring it to my notice. Am I understood? Yes, my princess. My princess.
She has um How do you know my real name? I know things about you that you won't believe I know. So many. Who the hell are you? Obina. Akazie. Your elder brother. I have had enough for one day. No. Good morning, my prince. My prince. How are you? I'm fine. Are you doing anything for Sarah today? Not at all. And she didn't inform me of any last night. All right. I need you to get ready. We're going to the market. Market? You heard me the first time, didn't you? Yes, my prince. Zara, get a hold of yourself. It's not the end of the world. How can you ask me to get a hold of myself when my world is coming down on me? My, my biggest threat and my worst nightmare is back. And as for Elvis, I, I'm not even sure if he's thinking clearly anymore. The, the king! I don't even know if he's still thinking like a man! But you still have your backup plan, which is your son with the king. If the going gets too tough, you bring your son back to Nigeria. Assuming your rightful position as the king's wife. And if anyone stands in my way, I will not hesitate to destroy that person. Simple. And as for my father, I will make sure he knows that his wicked blood still runs in my vein. Papa? Papa? Papa, please wake up. Papa, please wake up. Papa? Help me. Help me. Help me. There goes you. Yes, Papa. Yeah, guys, yeah. It's that bad. It is well. It is well. Papa. Papa. Papa, please. Papa, please wake up. Papa, please wake up. Papa. Papa, please. Papa. No!
praise himself. Ah, uh, Josh. Wow. Oh, but like play, like play. You don't turn Prince under two weeks. So. Hey, come off it, man. Come off it. So let me tell you, you're taking this kingship matter too serious. Too, too serious, man. But it's true. Your coronation is just five months away, you know. Gosh. I'm not going to waste 15 years of my life ruining some bunch of uncivilized people when I should be somewhere in the Bahamas spending my dough with some big asses. God. I have my own plans. My own big plans. It's robbery and blackmail. I am going to milk that throne so dry that the next king will see the throne as a body to sit on. Trust me. Good news. Good news. Fantastic. Don Gordon will be so glad to know that we have an insider in the palace. We are going to make good cash. That family is super rich. We just hit Central Bank. Nana Ide Tokam. And now by this time, Nana Ide Tokam. He prays himself. He Central Bank. Why not? He prays himself. Why not? My love, what are we doing here? This looks like a home of a native doctor. Shh. Stop it. Alright? She's no such thing. Please just calm down, all right? Just please calm down, okay? I'm not come here to hurt you, just calm down, please. My lord. Sorry.
Richmond. 20 million naira. Excuse me? 20 million naira for you to give up the throne and denounce kingship before coronation day. Now, I don't care if you intend to hurt the entire family. I just want you to give up the throne. Deal. Deal? Yeah, deal. Just like that. I don't understand. You mean you came all the way for you to give it up for just 20 million naira? You know one thing about women? Your brains can be so forward. I hope to get my check soon. Aguba. What girl? Wild girl with magical powers. What does that mean? I, I need to know more. That's exactly what I'm saying. I need to know more. Just get me that information, all right? Good. What happened? The girl from the bush, Tasha. There is something about that girl that she has some special kind of power that I really can't begin to explain right now. I, I don't understand what you're trying to say. I can't get it. Meanwhile, you need to come downstairs. Someone on usually just came in. Let's go. All right, yeah, after you. Your father's thirst for power made him pay off the mother of the original head to the throne for her to abscond with her child so that his bloodline will forever be on the throne. What? You did that? His curse for power has destroyed other people's lives. Father, is this true? Oh, yeah. It is, it is true. Father, now I see the reason behind your persistence. No, it's all coming back to me now, Father. How could you? What, you think that I, your son, would join the League of Usurpers in this, in this family? Oh no, come on, Father, you should know me by now. Because I'm really not interested in the crown, you can keep it. How disappointing. Unless I forget, now that the true heir to the throne has emerged, is it possible that I freely do away with an idiot called Sarah? You're an idiot. What? You are an idiot. You're stupid. Bastard. Me? How dare you call my own child a bastard? Did you hear that? Just shut up. How dare you call my child a bastard? I said shut up! Coming from you? You're an ingrate. Let me tell you something. 
boy. Every irrational behavior, decision, and action I made or took in the past, I took because of you. And if you think you are going to put me to shame or bring disrepute to my family, I'll tell you something, boy. You have a big surprise coming your way. How do you justify your actions, father? I, as your son, will be very disappointed. Get out! Get out! Out, I said! Meet with. We shouldn't have a son. Where is the way? This way, my princess. They bring friends. Are you sure she's not home? I killed her dog and hid it somewhere. She has been in search of it since morning. Okay, then let's go. Why are you jittering? Ever since voodoo was used to wipe my grandparents off the surface of this earth. I've grown allergic to anyone who practices it. Though. Don't tell me you believe that trash. We need to get this thing over with. Come, let's go. Get out of here. Look, but keep moving. Oh, please. Ah. Keep moving. Oh, oh God. God. My heels. My shoes. Ah. Oh, but I don't want to we should turn back. We should turn back now. Come on, come on, guys. Wait for me, please. Easy. Are you sure What do you want? I expect you to show some respect by greeting me appropriately. Well, I, I wouldn't know what kind of one bringing you hands. All the same, I, I have a business proposition for you. Considering the fact that your uncouth son swore to kill me, I wonder what kind of business you want to discuss with me. I'll go straight to the point. I want you to relinquish the throne. Fifty million. <laughs> no. Come on, little boy, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Be realistic. I tell you what, nobody will believe you if you told them that you're the hair 
to the throne. And watch me do it, my king. Fifteen years is not too long a time for people to forget. Besides, I am hoping on my loving father's creed to help. So you move. Deal. Deal. So I'm not nice doing business. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> My king, I'll be expecting you. Call. You, you sure human being lives here? Yeah, this is where she stays. Oh. I saw. So what are we supposed to do now, my princess? What were you supposed to do? Burn this place down. Aguba, let's go.
Josh, what are you doing in my house? I thought you should be somewhere busy with some robbery by now. Hey man, easy. You're sounding a bit harsh. I don't think so. Do you? <clears throat> well, um, I came for us to discuss about the whole robbery idea in the palace. When are you going to give us the arrangement to the entrance? Josh, you don't tell me what to do and when to do it. When I need your services, I'll definitely contact you. But now, I'd rather have more important things to take care of. So, you can see yourself out. Adova. My prince. Adova, do you know this? I know her. What did you do to her? I'm sorry, my prince. It was the princess. She ordered me to kill her dog and set her, her 
a house on fire. I'm sorry, my prince. <coughs> and you did. Oh, Agoba. I have never been so disappointed in you like right now. Henceforth, Agoba. You shall stay away from me and the palace. From now here on, you will find your way. Never to return to the palace. Have I made myself clear? I'm sorry, my prince. I have my car keys. Fast! How? Hello, Tasha. Where are you? I need your help. I'm coming to pick up right now. We ain't cousin, I'm going to keep her. Don't even think about my room. All right, um, fine, she'll stay with me in my room, okay, but the problem right now is how do we smuggle her in without being caught? Hmm, I think I have an idea. Let's go. You know, the worst part of all this is that I helped this boy make his first million. And now he wants us to answer to him. <laughs> I don't expect anything less from a man that shot a pregnant woman in the stomach on his first hit. Nothing less. Well, you guys know what to do. Nobody undermines loyalty and this brotherhood. Nobody. Don't worry. I'm already drawing out the plans. Uh, which plans? Josh, which plans? No. Free me. Make I cut this guy long sleeve or short sleeve. Ah, I think God beg you. Will they give them boots? Long and short. Boots. My name is Anna. I name you know I don't know if you man. Hi. Hi, excuse me. 
Hi, beautiful. How are you? How are you doing? And how is that your business? Oh, come on. Don't be harsh on me. I'm only trying to be a gentleman. Um, how about um, I take you to wherever you're going to and I'll wait for you and bring you back. You mean you take me anywhere I want? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do. In fact, all bees are on me. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Come on, let's go. You're safe now. You'll be okay. back to this kingdom I feel like the luckiest man on earth I can't wait to see you become the king because I'm most certain that you will rule this kingdom old man do I look like your daughter Zara that you can manipulate anyhow uh, I don't understand just, just cut the presents just cut the presents when I become king when I take over this kingdom, there's one thing you must know. One thing you must know. Whether you're my father or not, nothing will change. Nothing is going to change. Okay? You will still remain the way you are. No more, no less. So you better wake up from your slumber. Because you don't know me. You wouldn't want to know me. Trust me, you wouldn't want to. So, uh, looking at your attire, you walk. Where do you walk? So you stay in this kingdom. I don't know the people that grace this uniform. Oh, pardon my ignorance, my dear. I do not actually live in this kingdom. I came in three days ago. Oh, thank God. Why do you say so? I was actually scared being open to you. I was thinking you're from this kingdom. Uh, well, I'm not. So, can you comfortably give me some juicy gist about you? Well, I'm a maiden in the palace. Wow! That's a great job. At least you get to see the best part of everything. Well, on the contrary, I've seen worse things happen in this palace. Believe me. A book is not as enjoyable as it looks on the outside. So tell me, what are these things going on with the palace that is so bad? Please, 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 
children of nowadays, you don't even have a single respect for your parents anymore. Oh, now you know I'm your daughter. Before your almighty son came, you had my back. You supported each and every action I took. Well, now you don't give a damn. Because you feel your son is better at beating me at this game. But, but let me make something clearer to you. I must know how it feels to be queen. And when I do, I don't want to see your face on my coronation. Uh, has everybody eaten the seed of madness in this house? How come everybody is running amok at the same time? There must be more to us. Always. Father? You've been engaged to be married to Zara for four years now, isn't it? Don't you think it would be romantic and respectful to her as a lady, you know, for you to throw her an engagement party? Oh, Father, please, just knock it off, please. Really, why are we talking about this now? I mean, the last time I checked, she wasn't even wearing the said ring, so why are we talking about this? Elvis, why have you chosen to be a punishment to me? Oh, because you have equally chosen to run my life, Dad. You want to be the one to decide where I am at a given time. You want to be the one to decide what I become. You want to be the one to now help me decide on who to marry. Come on, Father. Please, with all due respect, don't you think you should just hands off? Let me be. Let me live my life just for once. Can you do that for me, Dad? You see that girl? You see that girl? Well, that will be a talk for another day. Now leave my presence. Leave my presence! As you wish, Father.
Josh, what in God's name is that business that could not wait? What is wrong with you? Do you know I could kill you? I could destroy you just like this. Josh, I murdered my own mother with my bare hands. And she died horribly. Begging. Call him my name. Obina. Obina, please. Obina, forgive me. Pity me. A pity she never got. So, it will take even a dumb person not to testify that I can kill. I can kill. Not just anything. So the next time you think of threatening me, I want you to always remember that. And don't you. Don't you ever think of calling my phone. Except to call you. Because I can kill just for calling me. Close your eyes. What? Just close them. Okay. You promise you're not going to open it. Natasha, I pro... Close it. I promise. Close them. All right, good. Okay. This better be good. You know if you open it, you'll spoil the surprise, right? Okay. Keep them closed. She's beautiful. I know, she's gorgeous. Thank you for everything. You're welcome, darling. She speaks. Hello, Josh. Why are you calling me? I told you I'll call you once I need you. Hey, listen, I just called you for business, which is worth millions of naira. When can we meet to discuss? Because this is not a phone discussion. Okay. I'll call you back in a bit, okay? I'll call you to let you know when. Okay, then. And the fish is dancing towards the bait. Nana point and kill now. Fish will come see me, but what do you want to do? be too sweet. Ah, the language, man. But it's not here hear him now. Confirm. Low class people. They always want to look for a way to clinch with the high class. The war is gone. Let them come. If they want war, I will give them war. The 
walls are closing in on me. I have to act very fast. This whole thing is getting uglier than I expected. I might have to bring my son into this. You should have done this a long time ago. If you had threatened the king about the child at first, by now, you'd have been sitting on your ass and spending his cash for a living. But I was naive at the time, Chantel. I had to put dignity before success. But right now, it looks like that doesn't pay at all. I'm just going to focus on success. To hell with dignity! Hello? Thank you. What is it? I just got a ticket to kill two birds with one stone. Why is it so impossible for you to talk to your son this day? Why don't you talk to him yourself? Hmm? Is it not your man? Or have you suddenly lost your power as a woman? Ezogo, don't insult me! Elvis, who? Who's this? And where do you think you're going to? I can actually answer about you, but well, if you must know, this, um... Very beautiful and well cultured woman. It's the same girl that you and Agoba connived to go burn down her heart. You know, sometimes when I think of you, I'm constantly wondering what are you made of? What kind of a human being are you? You're so mean. I don't have words for you because I'm done with you. Are you going to sit there and watch him talk to me like that? I thought you were... Zara. I kick sis. What do you think you're trying to pull off? What makes you think you can take my money and not abide by the contract? You were supposed to stay away from that troll. But I constantly keep hearing about your nuisance around town. When I realized who I am, I was king. To be honest with you, I was never interested in a kingship. All I wanted was my own share of the money. And so, off I go. But I started thinking otherwise. When everyone was making a fuss, about a kingship. If not for anything, I would like to see that sports brat, that sports brat Elvis, to bow before me as his king and for you. I don't have your time. You see, my bank manager will see you tomorrow and handle your funds. If you were smart, you will run as fast as your feet can carry you because my venom has no antidote. Oh. I hate snakes. Squash them. Squash.
crushed him. Like the famines they are. Igwe, you summon me. I hope there's nothing wrong. Everything is wrong. Agazie, everything is wrong. Because your two children are about to tear my entire family and this kingdom apart. How? You're asking me how? You paid off Obina's mother without my consent. Now Obina is back. You also promised your son was going to get married to my daughter. But I don't see that happening soon. So who is to blame in this? Ezuko, please, 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 with due respect, your cross is your cross and mine is mine. All you have to do is to bear it in a way it will not weigh you down. Period. Agazi, you called me by my name. Has your name changed? Has your name changed? When a deity becomes important, worshippers turn their back. Agazi, call me by my name. No. Things are falling apart. Elvis, who was that girl I just saw in your room? Um, mother, that, um, Anyway, that's, um, that's the girl from, from Edo Forest. But that girl doesn't look like anyone who is to live in any forest. That's because she's been staying with us for the past three weeks. What? Three weeks? You two can actually hide someone in this house for a year and nobody will get to know about it. So, what do you intend to do with her? My king, the last time we had a meeting like this, we were all rejoicing about your son's engagement to Nuwagazia's daughter. But since then, we've not heard anything about it again. And it is almost three months to the coronation of the next king, which is your son. So the big question is, is our next king going to ascend the throne without a queen by his side? And who said the next king must be Elvis? Is who? who are you to interrupt this meeting? Who are you? Obviously, you are not from this kingdom. And you do not know our tradition. Eh? Ask my father. Who I am. Obina. I thought I had a deal with you. A deal? I'm sorry, my highness. I cannot sell my birthright for 50 million naira. Just the way you bought my mother's freedom for just 4 million naira. What is this all about? What is going on here? My queen, you are only but a woman. And I am not supposed to answer you this question, but I will. Unlike other kingdoms, this kingdom has a spectacular tradition to change a king after 15 years. After 15 years, by the son of the youngest of Noah. And I happen to be the son of the oldest of Noah, still alive. Your Highness, in this village, Noah simply means the father of a potential king, which happens to be me, 
the son of the oldest and noble. This crown I am going to wear. I am the true son of my father. Good day, gentlemen. Uno Wagasi. Sarah, where are you going with the bag? I actually came back to my real home so that my son can live with his father. What are you talking about? Sarah, 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 don't you dare! Don't! What is she talking about? Well, your husband, the king of Agaba Kingdom, has been a very busy bee lately. Would you, would you shut up, Sarah? Shut up in my presence. If I ask my guards to throw you out. And I will. Yes, I will. But why would you want to do that to the mother of your son? Son? Yes, son. The king and I have a son together, and I have come back to my rightful home so that my son can be with his father. Now excuse me. I have more bags to take out of the car because I need to start unpacking. I'll be in my room. Okaramo, what is the Almighty King doing in Mashurai today after so many years? Okaramo, I know I have offended you. I also know that I have made you do a lot of wrong things, things you were not supposed to do. I know. I have made you offer sacrifices for me, which I never appreciated. But please, I beg you in the name of the gods to have mercy upon me and my entire household. For my kingdom is falling apart and I am fast Losing control of it? Please, do not let the gods punish the entire kingdom for my sins. <laughs> Is it so bad in the palace? Okaramo, it is not what I want to discuss here. I'd rather you, you come and see things for yourself. I want you to come to the palace and set things right. For the very first time in my life, I want justice. 
justice, justice, justice. Why the long faces? Hmm? You know, I'm not the kind to keep a grudge, so... But if you ask me, I think this arrangement is long overdue. My son will be coming home soon, and I hope you all don't wear this long, cold face. It's unnecessary, right? Sit down. Let's sit down. Let it pass. Okay? But trash will always be trash. Trash? But you wanted this trash. Household here now. Someone is missing. Someone is missing. Okaramo, this is my entire household. Somebody is not here. I don't know what you're talking about. This is my entire household. Ezugu, I insist. Someone is missing. Okaramo, the people you see, oh, with the exception of my wife, the queen, have traveled. Barakara, Oruchi, Agugu Agugu. Mpoto, mpoto. The loss of our land must you suffer me because of the sins I committed 15 years ago. Please show me. Show me. Show me. Mpoto, mpoto. Oruchi. Bara, bara, show me. Show me. Oh, my God. 
To our tradition, power must change hands every 15 years. And I have ruled Europe for 15 years. It is right time power changed hands. Traditionally, Ikenga, being the youngest to know who amongst you all, his son will be crowned the next king. Ikenga, inform your son that in the next 15 days, he will be crowned the next king of this great kingdom. Papa, welcome. Thank you, my daughter. Papa, you look very excited and happy. My son, the gods have finally blessed us through you. Igor Chudo has pronounced you the next king of our land. In 15 days' time, you will be coronated. So, Papa, we are going to be royalty. Papa, that means I will become a princess. Yes, my daughter. Thanks to the gods. Papa, let me have a word. Let me have a now. Eh? That you're handing over the crown, the kingship to another family, when you have a son like me to succeed you. Let me have a word. What's the meaning of that? Because it has been our tradition. I am not going to divert from it. To avoid the wrath of the gods. What are you talking about? Wrath of the gods, Bakwaku! Yabuaku! I am not here to be lectured about culture and tradition, Papa. No, I'm not. Rather, I've come here to tell you that whether you like it or not, no matter what it will take, I will be king. I will sit down here. And then I am stupid. <laughs> culture and tra tradition. Yabuaku! I'm all I must sit, sit, sit down here. I must be king. I must sit, sit, sit on the throne. What stupid culture tradition? Mama, I must sit here. 
You see, if you make peaceful change impossible, you make violent change inevitable. The king is dead and the throne is empty. But I don't want Ikenga's son to become the next king. Thank God at least I have somebody on my side. But the question is, what do we do? Because I, I cannot sit back and have somebody take what rightfully belongs to me. I am the heir apparent to that throne. And I must sit there. Must. Good. But the question I ask is, what do we do? Good. Uh, you see, what appears to be born in a turgid manhood is nothing but blood. So we can turn it and twist it to favor you, but on one condition. That after your regime, my son takes over the throne. Ah, is that all? That's it. Uh, if that is what you're asking for, then consider it done. That, that's it, that's it. After my reign as king, I will hand over to your son. Oh, good. So, how do we now get about this? That is what I want to know. What do we do? Good. You see, there's a promise you make a flesh hawk, and she will spread her legs to an elastic limit. Okaramo is my friend, and also the king maker. So, all you have to do is make him an offer that will bring his mind and conscience to touch like two naked wires. Vam, vam, vam. That's it. I guess it's enough for one. Ah. Um, There's more money for where this came from. Hmm? If only you make me the next king of this kingdom. <laughs> it's good. Consider it done. I said consider it done. If you Okaramu, I hope there is no problem. Ikenga, Ebube is not your biological son. The God just revealed to me that you killed the mother and took away her son. That's not true. I'm my father's son. Ikenga, if you insist, let Ebube touch the Ojimo. If he survives, I will crown him the new king of this kingdom. But if he dies, his blood will be upon your head and out of your family. My flesh and blood. The gods do not lie. Henceforth, you and your entire family are banished from this kingdom. Go! Let the sword of let Igwe should be crowned the new king of this kingdom and let the kingdom rejoice. <laughs>
Father, you and your cohorts, Akarome, Zara, and her traitor of our father, shall leave this kingdom never to return. Failure to do so, and we will not hesitate to tell the entire kingdom what atrocities you men have committed. I will do it, Father. How could you? You will have to leave because you do not deserve us. As a family. You will leave, Father. You will leave.
We need to get out of here fast. And what on earth will make me run out from my father's land? Anything. Because you cannot be King Ezugo and the chief priest to murder the rightful owner of the throne. That is why we need to get out of this kingdom fast. How did I find out? Eh? Okay. Sit down. Eh? Sit down here and be thinking how they found out. I am going to pack my things. I am leaving. What? You mean they kicked you out of this kingdom? I am going to make sure they pay for this. If they think I'm just going to sit down and do nothing about this, they have another thing coming. Oh, I help them. I want to. I'll make sure I wipe away that family. Elvis has to go down for this. Yes, I support your decision. They can't just disgrace you like that and expect to get away with it. In fact, I suggest we call Josh. He's very good at handling this kind of business. I actually did not think about him. Ah, you're the best friend in the world. I know. <laughs> Chantel, this game is about to get ugly. And let me add, I don't want one or two members of the family. I want every member of the family dead, wiped off the surface of this earth. Not a problem at all. Josh, 
Nothing should go wrong with this assignment. Sorry? I like the long talk. Very nice. But let's see the color of the money. The money? The throne is empty. So, what do we do? I do not agree with you. Our king is here with us. It is time we do what is right. The custom of transferring the kingship from one family to the other, it has done us more harm than good. Isn't it so, fellow knows? Yeah, you are right. Your Highness, I know you have no interest in the throne. But we need justice. Please ascend the throne and save your people from more harm. We don't know who will prepare your coronation in two weeks' time. It is rather sad. You don't have your bride yet. <clears throat> who said I do not have a bride? I do have a bride. Sit right next to me right now. Her name is Yagazier. <laughs> 